How do you manage the money your organisation spends on IT? Do you treat all IT investments in a similar way? Every year, some organisations can spend millions of euro on new IT systems and are likely to have spent several multiples of this on legacy investments, many of which, but not all, they continue to rely on to run their business. A lot of organisations don't have any mechanisms to help them understand and manage existing and planned IT investments. This is where taking a portfolio approach can help. IT portfolio management is about managing the evaluation, selection, monitoring and ongoing adjustment of IT investments to achieve defined business results while meeting clear risk reward requirements. By taking a portfolio perspective, we are looking to evolve beyond making selections in isolation to optimise the portfolio for the overall enterprise. To move beyond looking only at the financial aspects of value to taking a holistic perspective of value. To move from avoiding risk to managing risk in order to increase value. And finally, by taking a portfolio perspective, we are seeking to evolve from treating investment selection as a one-time event to continually reviewing and adjusting the portfolio in response to changing conditions. IT investments need to be planned and managed according to their current and future contribution to the business. Just think about it. Not all of your IT investments are the same. For example, some may provide a source of competitive differentiation. Others are core to running the business or may help in meeting regulatory requirements. The portfolio model I'm going to describe suggests a classification of all existing, planned and potential IT investments into four categories based on an assessment of the current and future business importance of these investments. With this model, an investment can be defined as strategic, key operational, support or high potential, depending on its contribution or expected contribution to business success. Strategic investments are critical to future business success. They create or support change in how the organisation conducts its business with the aim of providing competitive advantage. Note that whether the technology used is leading edge does not indicate that the investment is strategic. Assessment must be based on business contribution. Key operational investments sustain existing business operations, helping to avoid any disadvantage. The organisation currently depends on these investments for success. It can be argued that in many industries, substantial numbers of IT applications, for example, electronic point of sale, internet channel and ERP, have become so pervasive that they have become mandatory for survival in the industry. Support investments are those which improve business efficiency and management effectiveness. But in themselves do not sustain the business or provide any competitive advantage. Finally, high potential investments are those which may create opportunities to gain a future advantage, but are as yet unproven. This is your R&D investment, where you seek out innovative opportunities to use IT. The strategic and high potential investments are about gaining advantage. Key operational and support investments are about avoiding disadvantage. The driving forces for each quadrant are different. In the strategic quadrant, it is about perceived market requirements, competitive pressures, and ultimately achieve business change. For key operational investments, it is about improving performance of existing activities. You are often looking for integration and rationalization to speed up business processes and cut out costs, or to meet specific industry legislation. For support investments, it is about cost reduction and efficiency improvement through automation or to meet the requirements of general legislation. High potential investments are driven by innovative business ideas and new technology. We are seeking potentially disruptive opportunities. The four investment types require quite different strategies to achieve successful planning, development, implementation and operation. Why? Because they fulfil different roles in achievement of business results. The portfolio is a powerful device that can be used in many different ways. Let's look at a few examples. For each investment category, the generic critical success factors are different. Time, cost and quality. Different criteria will also be used to evaluate the business cases for investments in the different quadrants. The individuals managing investments in each of the quadrants of the portfolio should also have different skills attitudes and motivations. For example, in the high potential, it's all about being entrepreneurial, 
someone who is a person achiever and a risk taker. As we are seeking long-term quality solutions in the key operational quadrant, we need stability. Therefore, associated projects should be managed by someone who will seek to reduce business risks. Over time, the contents of the portfolio will change. And for any organization, the contents of the quadrants of the portfolio will be influenced by a variety of internal and external factors. You can find out more about the IT investment portfolio on my IT leadership program or drop me an email.